great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. What's up, guys? My name's Amy, and welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we're at Southwest Rocks in our new Opus camper and I thought I would show you what our first trip looks like with our camper set up and uh, discuss the things that we think that uh, worked really well for us and things that we probably uh, didn't like about our camper on our first use and things that we might be able to fix uh, as we get a little bit better at setting up and uh, going away in our camper trailer. All right, let's go. <laughs> To trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own Twenty-nine years I've been the same So here you can see our bridge uh, It was actually quite good We've tied it uh, in with just a bit of rope Because it's not actually secure in there uh, We've filled it full of lots and lots of things and we really enjoyed having this fridge works quite well and uh yeah we've got lots of things in there and i like how it just sits up like that so the fridge was pretty good i thought it would be annoying actually having it uh with these but it hasn't been a problem and you just have to hit him and it shuts just like that and then you can push it back in so of course if it's in you have to have the fan on and yeah it's worked quite well so over here you can see that we've just got uh, a shoes basket a dirty clothes basket and then we've just got a trunk and in that trunk we actually put our clothes in but then we move them again uh, down here we just got some skateboards they don't usually go there they're everywhere all the time and over here we've got surfboards and all our toys uh, and then we've got it open at the moment uh, here is our kitchen and we've just put the table outside. What we'll do next time though is bring our other table that has more of a pantry in it because there wasn't really enough room to have all of our things. So we've got a coffee machine and a soda stream and uh, a few little things. And what have we got in here? We've just filled up here and we keep keys in there. It's all pretty simple. Um, in this one, we've just got some things in here as well. And yeah, we're almost packing up because we're heading off tomorrow. So we're just trying to clean up things now uh, so that it's easy to pack up tomorrow. All right, let's go and have a look at the camper now. So come in here now, we can see that we've got the one bed in here and that's our son's bed. And then over here, and then we've got our bed here. Oh, it's a little bit messy at the moment. And then you can see outside that we're looking straight out to the beach and that's what we got to wake up to every morning. Some things that we absolutely loved about the camp trailer was that we had these air vents. Uh, we haven't opened that one. And how bright it is. And then we've just hung our clothes on the boat rack outside, which was really good. Uh, some things that wasn't very good in our camper was the fact that because we're on a slab here, it was really hard for us to uh, put the uh, pegs in and then also uh, have this right. So the other thing is that we actually arrived really late at night and then we couldn't really set up very easily in the middle of the night because we didn't want to wake people up. Uh, we did buy a drill to uh, stabilize and level the trailer but of course because we arrived at midnight we didn't really want to drill uh, the legs up and down so we just did them manually. Uh, but yeah, it only took a few minutes to set up once we'd actually backed in the trailer, leveled it, uh, and then set it up. And it was really quick, actually, because of course all the beds are already made, and then uh, of course it blows up really quickly. And that was really lovely um, when we first got here in the middle of the night. So one of the things about this location is that we're actually under all of these beautiful big trees, but in the afternoon and in the morning there are uh, so many birds and they have made a huge mess all over our camper and our car, which will need to be cleaned up. So I'll show you what that looks like and it's not pretty. Fact 
that you could lean against these poles and that they weren't uh, hard. Also, because it got really, really windy for a few nights here, uh, we were really concerned that um, we were going to blow away after our experience last year where we had a mini cyclone and our gazebo went flying across the park and our tent collapsed and it was just horrendous. Uh, so we were a little bit um, cautious, I guess, or worried or had uh, post-traumatic uh, uh, stress from last year but it handled really really well in the wind and we were really surprised had a look around at some of the other campers in the park and they held up pretty well as well I noticed some poles had come down in there so Doesn't bother you anyway It's just like all the other places Stone cold and raging bones And I would love to be the floor is actually soft So I know it doesn't look soft but they must have some sort of foam underneath it It makes it really um, spongy Was the fact that the uh, couches are super comfortable and also it just feels so spacious in here and we never felt cramped at all and there's lots and lots of room so of course Jack has his own bed and we've got our own bed and in between there there's just so much room to lounge around so we really liked that and we're only a family of three so we feel like uh, this is a huge amount of space for us so I can only imagine with a bigger family that this would really suit them. In terms of the storage we felt like there was lots and lots of storage. We've got all our clothes in here and all of our towels and we still have tons of room uh, that we could add more things in if we needed. In fact we actually have so many spare cupboards that are just empty and yeah so we feel like we've got lots and lots of storage and we probably brought way too much with us anyway because we weren't sure how long we we're going to be on the road for uh, and then what we'd need and what we didn't need. All right so one of the other things that we didn't bring along with us was actually the floor uh, and that's because we didn't want to set it up and we had heard that it was a little bit tricky to set up so we didn't bother bringing it along with us so we actually had no floor for the first few days but we were getting so much uh, dust and mud because under this slab is actually just dirt uh, so we went and bought this little green mesh floor and it's been really really good so we're glad that we bought that uh, and it's held up pretty well so uh, that's something that it would be good if it came with but of course it comes with a bucket floor which is really good quality but we um, didn't want to bring it with us anyway. So yep, that's the floor. So what did you think about using the kitchen in the Opus? It's good. It's just like looking at home. Oh well, yeah, you've got yourself a, a drawer here for all your goodies, nice forks and anything else that you can stash in there. And then cooking gear, I've thrown in there, chopping boards, utensils. Um, the four burners is just like your hob at home and everything is pretty convenient. When you run out of space, uh, we've got ourselves a table from inside to put uh, food prep stuff in and when we dish up, we just slide that out so we don't have to put any bracing underneath that because it's not taking much weight. Um, things that I'd fix is I'd probably have more external storage on this side of the camper your pantry cupboard type stuff apart from that you can't really fault it the fridge is awesome uh, the sink the spice rack everything makes life reasonably easy so in terms of the lighting in the camper it's very very bright in here and because you can dim all of the lights uh, and then you can turn uh, them off and dim different sections as well we found that really convenient and it is more than what you'd ever need you do not need to buy any external lights or anything like that uh, because all of the lights in here are just uh, perfect and you wouldn't need any more than that we really thought that it was good that you could have the annex lights on and the lights out in here or you could just have the floor lights on uh, and everything else off so last night we watched a movie and we turned all the lights out except for the floor lights and that was really good so one of the things that we really liked about this as well and we used a lot was the stereo in here so you can actually turn it to different modes and you could have the radio or you could have an AUX in um, and BT standing for Bluetooth 
and what we would do is Bluetooth it to our phones. And we really liked that because we played Spotify on our phone and then we could just Bluetooth it to the uh, camper. So that was good. If you do walk away from the camper, even just a few meters, it does disconnect. Uh, that's kind of annoying. And also if the speakers are on too loud, what happens is that the little things here bounce around and that was a little bit annoying as well. All right guys, that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of our walkthrough of our first setup of the Air Opus camper. If you wanna check out any of our other videos about this camper, make sure you head over to my channel and check them all out. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you know when we've posted our next episode. And if you really like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.